for Miami. Hero and Butler make up the perimeter pair. Then it's Bam out of bio. Then it's Terry Rozier. And it's Highsmith in at the power forward position. Grant, the all-star break is soon approaching. How important is that break for the players? Oh, the break, it is so crucial. It is needed, no question about it. And any chance to get some rest is a big bonus. Also, of course, refocusing as a team and making a Boston plan five. for the rest of the year. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. And here's Rozier. Pass to Butler. Here's Highsmith. Brown with the steal. And here we go. The Celtics on the run. Holiday from long range. Kept alive. And that one's good. Chris Porzingis. Daps, Porzingis. Well, you've got size and length. So Chris Stapps Porzingis, the extra possession. Now here's Adebayo. Another shot. In deep, Butler drops it in. And this guy is just working his tail off on the boards. You love the effort, love the energy. Holiday against Rozier. And the ball out play. The Heat will have it. Well, Grant, the pace that the Heat like to play is a little slower compared to other teams. Yeah, B.A., more methodical, definitely. They don't just jack up shots and run quick plays. They're very patient, and they look for the best scoring option. Now here's Rozier, taking command on offense when they need him, putting up 21 a game, and Adebayo slams it in. You're starting to be able to trust that Terry Rozier is going to make these finds. Here's White. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Holiday against Rozier. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover. Here's Hero. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Yeah, this is how you finish off the fast break. Hero, great at taking initiative in these situations. Knocks it loose. Oh, it's stolen by Butler. And here we go, the Heat fast break. Here's Rozier. No good. Some solid defense from Holiday. Outside, Brown. There's Tatum with the three. Pure from three-point range. You have got to be in Tatum's space. This guy is such a terrific range shooter. The Heat have gone three of five here in the opening quarter. On the wing, Rozier. He's covered by Holiday. Pass to Rozier. Out left to the wing. Here's Adebayo, and misses it off the right side of the rim. Well, this is how you shut him down. A tremendous contest against a very skilled player. Stolen by Hero. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. And he lobs it up top. Oh, blows the alley-oop jam. And so it's Holiday who brings up the ball for Boston. They trail by one. They went to Miami for their last meeting with the Heat. Came out with a victory. They came away with an easy win last time due in large part to their work on the glass. I think there is no question they brought a level of physicality along with a tremendous work ethic, and it was why they were successful. Miami And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. So Miami ends up going with a new group, a big group substitution here for Boston. Tillman's checked in for Kristaps Porzingis. Al Horford comes in for Jason Tatum. Hauser, he's checked in for White. And Pritchard is subbed in for Holiday. Robinson gets the bucket. That was a prayer. All luck getting that one to go. Boston has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Here's Pritchard. And the Celtics another three. 
Jalen Brown has improved as a setup guy. That pass was on time and on target. Well, Doris, when he's off the court, Jalen Brown is an outspoken advocate for education. What I love about Jalen B.A. is that he's about so much more than basketball. This young man has a passion for learning. It's a very admirable cause he has tried to be outspoken for. You love the superstar level effort between the lines and outside the lines. So it's Boston now. After the basket by Miami. Horford outside. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Richardson. Pritchard, no good. A chance to go two for one. And you really must play this just right. Here's Love. Soft touch off the glass. Do we know this about Kevin Love? Contact will not deter him. Shot and game clock separated by five. Oh, they get a hand on it. And here's Brown for three. And it's Miami with a rebound. Coming into this, having Knox to win against San Antonio in their last game. They were really able to exploit that defense. I mean, getting almost any shot they wanted, it was that easy. Give them some credit. I'll tell you this. They caught an opponent on a very off night defensively, and you take advantage. Simple as that. With one on the clock. He can't get it to go. And that concludes the first quarter of play. It's the Heat. They're up by five. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Miami. Yeah, they're just attacking on defense, getting those hands out and knocking the ball free. I really like their energy defensively. Yeah, they've also been alert and active on the defensive end, creating turnovers and turning those into points on the offensive end. Hero and Butler make up the perimeter pair. Then it's Terry Rozier, then it's Pam Adebayo, and it's Jaquez in at the four-man position. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Doris, you think about how the Celtics are built. They make shrewd personnel choices year after year. They have historically drafted very well. I think the challenge for the Boston Celtics and all organizations, the new implications of the salary cap and player personnel deal. Building teams may look different going forward. Now here's Butler. 17 points in his last outing. And he was Boston fouled foul. while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. First personal foul. Well, now that we've had First a few years of reference, foul. Doris, how do you think the play-in tournament has fared so far? B.A., a successful addition, there's no doubt about it. It's involved more teams for more competitive basketball for longer stretches of the season. That's exactly what you hope for. And he makes both free throws. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Here's Holiday. And Rozier pulls it down. The Heat with the lead. Out of bio with it. Now guarded by White. Right side, Butler. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Fires it. Rebound, Boston. Porzingis has got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Tatum. Excellent D there from Hero. And for Miami, they're shooting really well in this matchup. 62% from the floor. Rose here gets the bucket. They just look so overwhelmed inside. And that's why they continue to get attacked. Boston's gone three of six from deep so far. Hero against White. to shoot and hero comes to help three-pointer holiday and it's miami with a rebound quarter two in about two minutes in to the wing on the left out of bio in the post defended by porzingis rosier outside the heat need to get one up in a hurry 
All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Well, Bam Adebayo is a defensive Jason. force. Coach Eric Spolster said, quote, he makes us different. Our team is built around his toughness and his versatility. You can count on one hand in this association how many guys can literally guard one through five. And he's at the very top of that list. That's unique unto itself, Brian. Yeah, very special, Allie. Thanks for that. It's been a career of ups and downs for Porzingis, but he seems to have found himself now, Doris. Well, let's think about the start of his career with the New York organization. He was off to a tremendous start. Then the injury sets in, and obviously there's a physical and mental battle you've got to overcome. But boy, now that he's moved on, he is starting to become a force. To the left wing. And the ball out of bounds. The Celtics will have it. And we've got a moment here to show you this season's most aggressive defensive team. The Celtics in second. They're quick to help each other, and they have some tremendous athletes with a nose for the ball. And the Celtics, Celtics call time, time here. And grant the resiliency and determination of the Heat not to be underestimated. Well, B.A., last season became just the second eighth seed in NBA history to advance to the finals. And Jimmy Butler said it. We don't care if you pick us to win. We never have. We never will. So Miami ends up going with a new group. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Tillman's checked in for Kristaps Porzingis. Hauser comes in for Horford. Brown, he's checked in for White. And Pritchard is subbed in for Drew Holiday. And now a look at the upcoming schedule for the Boston Celtics. On Friday, they head back home to host the Washington Wizards. And on Sunday, they'll be matching up with Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. When you look ahead, there are a lot of winnable games. But you really can't think that as a player. You have to take every opponent seriously because this is the NBA. No game is a freebie. Both shots good from the strike. Known as one of the most successful teams in NBA history, the Boston Celtics continue to add to their legacy doors. Yeah, B.A., this is a roster that completely understands how special it is to play for this organization. They also are mindful of the weight of expectation that comes with it. Championships are their history. Championships are what is expected. Here's Love. After the basket by Boston. And he can't bank that one in. The Celtics have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. And the Celtics lead by three. Well, you love to see a great score create an easy opportunity. Jason Tatum gets a second chance points right there. Love for three. Here's Robinson. Outside for Love. Can they get it? Tatum pulls it in. And it's Tatum with the ball for the Boston Celtics. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Tillman. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. And it's a five-point Celtic lead. And their offensive execution has really picked up here in the second period. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. 14 feet away. Miami, no good that time either. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. They're beginning to take control now, and this could be a crucial point in the game. Well, working hard, building out a small lead, but you can't afford any kind of letdown here. And so it's Jason Tatum making highlights for the Celtics. He put together 10 points in the quarter. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? 24. Coach, it's been a hard-fought game. A lot of hustle plays. What gets you over the hump in the second half? Well, we just have to keep on grinding. That's what this kind of game is like. Uh, you know, in many ways, it feels like a playoff game. But those plays right there, ball in the air, ball on the floor, we got we to gotta make sure we're dominating those areas uh, and then make some plays. We'd love to see playoff intensity there in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball.
It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. There was no stopping Jason Tatum in the first half. He had 13 points, two rebounds, and one assist. It's hard to imagine how he could have been any better in the first two quarters. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? Well, their success was largely about second-chance points. Crash the offensive boards heavy in the first half. I love how they fight for every 50-50 ball like it's the last ball on earth. Shaq, let's get your insight on Miami. Well, they could be ahead in this game if they were taking care of the boards. More possession means more scoring opportunities. A few rebounds either way could decide the outcome of the game. Ultimately, this game will come down to who wants it more. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. And you know, Jason Tatum, he's been really making it happen, guys. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. Kicking off the second half, here's Joe Mazzula's five. White and Brown with the two and the three. Jason Tatum out there with Kristaps Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the one. Rozier can't get it to go. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Brown against Butler. Right side Brown over Butler. Brown can't hit. And just not allowing the shooter to get comfortable from mid-range. Well, he sees the play developing, takes care of his responsibility, just terrific job defensively. For a center, Adebayo is an excellent passer. He's always so aware of his surroundings. To the inside. Oh, through contact. White gets the finish. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Rozier, the pass to Butler. Back to Rozier. Hero against White. To the middle. Here's Adebayo. No good there. Good D by Porzingis. Here's Tatum. Rebound by the Heat. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. Well, the past few years, Jason Tatum has made a concerted effort to attack the rim. VA, he has gotten stronger. He has gotten Porzingis. more aggressive. Even with his offhand, Tatum is now First special at finishing around the rim. You love this now about him. He methodically Jimmy attacks Butler. his weaknesses in order to become complete. And for the Celtics, Grant, when it comes to something like rebounding, it's a total team effort. Well, it's part of their personnel strategy, B.A. Get wings and guards that have length and toughness, which allows them to control the glass and switch just about everything defensively. The Celtics making a switch here. Orford's checked in. I simply stated, Jimmy Butler is a winner and a game changer. This guy will compete on both ends of the floor, gives you everything he has. That one's good. This game is all even. Butler's got eight. Yeah, he shot the ball well enough to keep his team even. Let's see if together they can elevate past that. Here's Holiday. Again, the miss by the Celtics. All right, time now to pick it up. You're one for four, and you certainly don't want to give Jimmy. your opponent momentum. You have to appreciate the doggedness and intensity on the glass. Wow. The Celtics have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Terry Rozier picks one up. Wait, just forcing the issue, Drew gets a pair at the line. At the line for the Celtics, Drew Holiday. Two. And he can't get the first one. Yeah. 
And he sinks the second. You know, one thing you got to love about Drew Holiday is he's a true two-way player in this league. He puts in a lot of work to make a big impact on both sides of the floor. Here's Jaquez. Hero outside. There's the triple. Holiday grabs the miss. Excellent job of closing out on that three. It may be the hardest thing to do in basketball. Close under Porzingis. control, and he's more than up to the task. And put it on a platter. Holiday serving it up for his teammate. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. The Celtics are battle tested and asked what comes from that experience. Jalen Brown said, quote, voice. Being able to see and read the game. Our offense has been able to take leaps by understanding the game and what they want to take away and just letting the game decide. Yeah? Yeah, yeah that's been the key. Thanks, Allie. And the basket by Holiday. Another lead change. Give these teams credit. They're really fighting it out. Neither team willing to give an inch and neither able to seize the momentum. This has been a fascinating one to watch. And Miami has possession. Following the bucket by the Celtics. Three-pointer Rozier. Counted from distance. Rozier's got five. And deadly from deep. Rozier making it happen from beyond the arc. Holiday passes to Horford. It's Brown on the wing. Fires the three. It's hauled in by the Heat. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. Butler on the wing. Defended by Porzingis. Butler against Horford. Horford with some nice D. And so it's Holiday who brings up the ball for the Boston Celtics. Two-point game. And the call will be against Tyler Hero. That's his first foul. And the Heat with some changes. Kevin Love comes in for Bam Adebayo. And Richardson subbed in for Hero. Got a piece of it. Butler with the ball. Now guarded by White. And here we go, the Celtics on the run. From eight feet, Hauser, that's good. Hauser. Hauser's gotten his first bucket of the night. The Heat have gotten five of ten shots to go. Pass to Butler. Rozier outside, and here's Love. 24 seconds left in the third quarter. Hawkins, the pass to Love. Four on the clock. Takes the three. Offensive rebound. Off with the layup. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. Here's White. And too long on the shot. Third quarter comes to a close, and a battle brings it to a tie. And time for a short break. Stay right there. The fourth quarter is coming up next. 37. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. It's the final and it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. They've got Terry Rozier. Also, Josh Richardson out there. Butler out there with Kevin Love. And it's Highsmith in at the four. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Tillman misses. Miami shooting 44%. A pretty decent clip. Butler finds Love. Let's go with a three. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Tatum. A different look for Miami. Adebayo's checked in for Love. And Tyler Hero subbed in for Richardson. Porzingis has checked in for Boston. Holiday comes in for White. And the basket by Holiday. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Celtics? Their defensive intensity has served them well. It kept the offense scrambling and resulted in several steals. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. 
Here's Pritchard. Outside Tatum. Cashes in the 12 footer. This continues to be a battle. The lead is within reach. Yeah, but that's been elusive. They've missed a few plays along the way that they'd love to have back. Now here's Butler. Off target from outside. Here's Holiday. Again, Boston. You've got to have a short memory. Put a poor first half in your rear view and now make an impact. Pass to Butler. Launches it. Jimmy Buckets with the trade. After an ice cold start to this game, he is pouring it on here in the second half. Outside Holiday. Is Pritchard. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. It's now an opportunity to take a break and talk about their strategy moving forward. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, over the break, I listened in on Eric Spolstra's huddle. They were encouraging their team to run, look for breaks. Coach wants to see them getting into transition more. Back to you, Brian. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Here's Pritchard. Shoots over Rozier. Again, Boston. You know, it seemed to me they were shying away from a foul there. The D still has to be a little bit more physical than that. He's got to feel you. Outside Butler. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. And out of Bio slams it in. Boy, perfect execution in the pick and roll. Butler always a guy who's going to draw attention, and he makes the unselfish play. Boston has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Here's Pritchard, pounded by Rozier. And Tatum, here we go. Some solid defense from Butler. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. Outside for Rozier. Pass to Highsmith. To the paint. Here's Butler. And it's Butler with the jam. <laughs> you can see it from the moment he caught the basketball. Jimmy Butler delivers again. And Boston calls time here. They're ahead by two. 156 left in the game. All right, time now to present our new balance player of the game, Jason Tatum. Just an effective weapon for them on the inside tonight. He was such a reliable option for them on offense with his muscling his way to the basket from the low block. White, he's checked in for Boston. One fifty-six left to play in the fourth quarter. And the whistle blows on a backcourt violation. Went over and back. Hero outside. Butler on the wing. Shoots over Brown. Ooh, good work on the interior from Butler. Uh, this is one of the best two-way players in the game. Jimmy Butler getting it done offensively. And it's Tatum with the ball for the Boston Celtics. And he converts the layup. Tatum's got four points this quarter. The very definition of their go-to player. Mr. Tatum, ball in your hands. Yes, sir. Butler taking his time here. Adebayo. And finished off by Adebayo. Rising to the challenge. Stays under control and hits a big time shot. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. Tipped away. Out on his own on the break. Here's Highsmith. Oh, a huge slam. An exclamation point on that break. Coming down the stretch, it's still anyone's game. Incredible effort and energy on both sides. These guys must be gassed. Now here's Tatum. Pass to Porzingis. Thing is putting the size to work. Oh, you love the aggressiveness and the swagger that Persingas has to take that shot. Such a clutch play from the Latvian. Here's Butler. And then talk about. 
Somehow stepping up in a big way. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. They'll probably slow things down now. Burn the clock while you have the lead. I like that. Outside for Rogier. The three ball. Oh, he knocked down the trifecta. Never one to shy away. Terry Rozier says, I've got the answer right here. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're behind by five. 27 seconds left to play in the fourth. Pritchard's checked in for Holiday. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Tatum passes to White. Tatum inside. Working on Adebayo. Tatum can't hit. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Jalen Brown. First personal foul. First team foul. And here are the Heat now. Sitting by five. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Now the good on the first, and that increases the lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Well, you want to continue to build the lead, so a very productive trip to the line right there. Brown, no good. We all know he's a good shooter, but from that distance, uh, I don't think so. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. So the Heat win it. I'm sure they would have preferred a blowout victory, but a win's a win. And so true, but you have to credit the crowd for giving them such a big boost toward the end. They really kept this team's energy high. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Tyler, these Miami fans, they are so appreciative of the effort that you guys displayed tonight. Talk about what they mean to you. Yeah, we couldn't do it without uh, these amazing fans right here, so we appreciate you guys uh, continuing to support us through the ups and downs, and we appreciate y'all. Thanks so much, Tyler. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Brian Anderson signing off. We'll see you next time.